Okay, violas. This is our training video for Dance of the Hours. Now, we take a look here. We have one sharp in our key signature on this first page. We go all the way down. We're still in that key, key of G, all the way through. Now, as we travel on that first line on the second page, we're going to notice that there, after the fermata, okay, measure three, we're actually 46, it switches to 2 4 combrio, okay, with a brightness, a little quicker speed. You notice there's a natural sign there where that sharp was. Okay, so we go to the key of C major, and we stay in that key now to the end of the piece. Okay, so be aware of that. Next thing, we have some repeats. Measure 16 goes back to the beginning. Okay, and when we get over there on the second page, at the end of the first line there at 58, it goes back to 51. At the end of 69, it goes back to 62. Okay, so watch that. You might even have to make some pencil marks so just help guide your eye when you're on the fly, especially when you're first learning the piece. Pretty soon then you'll know where exactly to go. Okay, now you notice there's a lot of sharps and naturals and even flats in this piece. So we have a lot of accidentals where we're going to have to alter our finger pattern, okay, to play the correct note. On the first line we have an A sharp. Normally we just play an open A. An A sharp is a half step one, which we would normally call a B flat. So an A sharp and a B flat are in the same position right there in harmonic names. Okay. We do have some pizzicatos. We start with a pizzicato. We go back and forth between pizzicato and arco. Okay. A minimoso, a minimoso at 18 means we're going to be playing a little bit quicker. It's going to have a little bit of motion with motion. Okay. There we have a B flat on the G, which is going to be a half step two. Okay, we have an E flat there in 25, which is a half step to on the C string. Okay, uh, then we have the melody there with the cellos at 34, where we join them and help. All right, so let's take this kind of slow. We'll stop if we need to. Okay, get you a, a chance to kind of get your uh, self secure on this song. So it starts out with the violins going do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so during that violin's do 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 when they're slurring, we have rest in one, two, rest in one, two, rest in one, two, rest in one, two, and two, three, four, two, and two, and two, da 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 da. Four and one and two, four and, and we're back to Arco. Two, three, four, two, three, four, one, three. Now I'm going to fast forward to 81. Soli means we as viola players get the section, the whole section has, okay, some solo parts here. Ready? Eight. Starting softer. Two. Crescendoing. Two. Three. Four. Two. Two. Three. Four. Two. Three. Four. Two. 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 Three. Four. Two. Try to get that crescendo as big as you can. Two. conductor here because this whole thing is going to slow, then we have a cut off there. That retard starts over there at the bottom of that first page, so be careful. Alright, now we're at the Combrio, only two beats in a measure, okay, top of the second page. One and two, a little quicker, go. And two, and two, two, ready, go. Back to 
62, no pausing, go. Boom. 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 Getting stronger.